So, I've got an admission to make. The things about this channel may not be exactly as they seem. So this is the ninth vlog I've done and although this is the first one I've done on the week that it's actually going on to YouTube, I started the work on the boat back in March and I did some filming at the time although it wasn't until the boat actually went into the yard that I started putting the videos together and uploading them to YouTube. So currently the boat has been in the yard for about six weeks or so and she should only have a couple of weeks left before I can collect her. The deadline is a little bit strict, really because the spring tides are good around the middle to the end of June, but then they're quite low for around about a month. So if we don't get out then, we'll be stuck in for another month and it costs money to be stuck in the yard. Not to mention the yard needs space for other work and I want my home back. So now the videos I upload will actually be things that I'm working on right at that moment. And it means I can also thank people for their kind comments and support. And speaking of which, thank you to everybody who's subscribed and I'm really looking forward to sharing progress with you. So, for an update from the yard, the work on the boat structure is largely complete and I'll give you a tour of that in a future vlog. The yard have moved on to ultra high pressure jetting the bitumen off the hull and then replacing it with the two pack epoxy paint which is going to look really good. When I was in the yard actually they were busy doing that and the hull is looking so much better already. And also the smell from the bitumen as it comes off is really pungent, so it's good to get that off. There are a few jobs they're still working on in the yard, such as rewelding the tabernacle back onto the deck, but we're mostly finished for now. But this was a job we considered leaving until later, although I actually wanted to leave the yard with this fitted, otherwise people will be worrying that she's no longer a sailing barge anymore, but she 100% is. There's always some concessions and some compromises to make when you're living aboard, but I still want to sail her as well as her being a comfortable home. So in a future video, I'll show you the new mass support that the yard have designed. It's a real feat of engineering. However, one of the issues is that the portholes haven't arrived from Poland yet, so these will have to be fitted later. So with that in mind, we're going to go back into the yard for a short while in the summer to have the portholes welded in, the new reconditioned winch fitted, and that's on its way from the Netherlands right now. Uh, we're going to also get a new bow thruster tube fitted and also deal with the chain locker for the anchor chain, etc. at that point. And we'll also be able to step the mast and re-rig the boat, and this will give me a little bit more time to plan the new rigging and get hold of new cables for the shrouds and the stays, etc. And then we work out the shape of the sail, which will also need to be repaired because it's had a wasp's nest in it and they've chewed holes along the length of it. Although that might be a project for later on in the year or maybe next year. So it seemed like the delay in the portals arriving was a problem, but it might end up actually being a better situation. So it gives me a bit more time to think about the rigging and the anchor and things. I did consider putting the existing portals back in again, although the new ones will be really worth the wait because they're much larger and also double glazed, so they'll be really amazing, I think. I actually did a mock-up of the existing and the new portholes in cardboard and I stuck them on a window just so I could just test the differences between the sizes. And the larger portholes let in so much more light. So that's where we are right now. Um, this week though, we're going to go for a little potter on the Thames on Sharky, the boat cared for and shared by a few of my neighbours and me. And you're going to come too, but don't tell anyone about the previous videos. That's our secret. 